Hello, welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find almost the entire GCSE and A-level and A -level math syllabus on video, all for free. I say almost because I've almost completed all the videos and you can also find really really good um, revision guides which just summarize the whole of GCSE and A level in detail in 20 pages or so anyway this one's about pie charts this is a pie chart and basically what you do in a pie chart you convert a table like this which gives you frequencies into uh, a picture like this so you can see most people have a red thing uh, let's talk about let's imagine this cars we're talking about cars on the street so uh, most people on this particular street have red cars some have green cars and the least have blue cars okay and uh, how do I know that well 20 people have red cars 10 people have green cars and six people have blue cars so the least number of people have blue cars okay and uh, to draw this from this you need to convert this into the frequencies because obviously you've got a um, a circle basically and uh, you've got a maximum of 360 degrees in a full circle and that's to be shared out between the frequencies okay and so obviously the people the group with the biggest frequency should have the biggest piece of this pi okay so how do I convert from the frequency to an angle which is needed to make this pie chart well what you do is you say well I know the total uh, angle you have to play with is 360 degrees okay now how much of that should belong to the red category well the fraction of the 360 degrees that belong to um, the red category is 20 out of 36 it's not half is more than half isn't it really 20 out of 36 is more than half if it was half all I do is I say half times 360 which is 180 degrees basically and that will be that will give me half of the circle but this is 20 out of 36 so I do 20 out of 36 as this formula says to work out an angle from the frequency you do frequency divided by the to total frequency that's 20 out of 36 times 360 that's another way another way of saying that is saying how much of 360 uh, do I want I want 20 out of 360 times 360 and that gives you the angle okay so if I do 20 out of uh, 36 times 360 um, what do I get well if I were to work that out very quickly 20 over 36 times 360 that another way of working that out is 360 divided by 36 which is 10 times 20 is 200 a um, bit of clever working out there you might want to um, check out the fractions video that explain how I did that 20 out of 36 times 360 is 200 okay again 10 out of 36 times 360 is 100 and 6 out of 36 times 60 is uh, what did I say 6 out of 36 times 360 is 60 degrees so those angles go here so 200 goes there 100 goes there for the green category and 60 degrees for the blue category and I can go the other way if I wanted to um, if I wanted to convert my if I was told an angle and I wanted to so say I've got a pie chart already and I know the angle and I wanted to know what fr how many cars does it actually represent not just how many degrees but how many cars does that represent I go to my angle which I've already got I can measure it maybe off the pie chart write it down there and I say well to get from here to there back to the frequency all I do is do the angle out of 360 times the total frequency I know the total frequency is 36 I times that by uh, 200 out of 360 so I've got the fraction of the total pi okay is 200, uh, 200 out of 360 times that by my total frequency so that basically gives me how much of the total frequency um, should be the red car so 200 out of 360 times um, 36 will give me 20 and that's it really hopefully that wasn't too confusing you do probably need to look at the 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 fractions video of you know so you can understand how to multiply fractions like I did and that's it